Well, where do I begin with this? I should probably start off with the basics. Fallout 5 has just been announced about maybe six or seven hours ago. Well, more or less. This better be Fallout frickin' 5 or something like that. I don't know. Bethesda doesn't usually just do this stuff for a frickin' remastering or something like that. And if you somehow don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about frickin' like, uh, look at frickin' Bethesda's, uh, Twitter right now. Look at their frickin' Twitter. If this is a remastering video, I'm going to just freaking delete this. So, at, at worst, this is only going to be up on YouTube for about two or three days. But E3 is directly right around the corner, and this would be the perfect time to freaking release this. You know, and just to ride out for the freaking trailer thing, I might actually stream my reaction on Twitch. Because, you know, everyone did that for Fallout 4, so... Why not I do it for Fallout 5? And I guarantee you, people like Maddie or Lone Wonder is always... Everyone's going to be freaking doing it. But this is going to be different. This video, I'm going to be predicting um, five possible songs that are going to be in the Fallout 5 trailer. Or wherever the heck this game is. And it's just weird saying Fallout 5. That just sounds so weird to say. Alright, but enough of that. I'm just going to actually get into it. So, my prediction on the next Fallout 5 trailer songs. Number one, Fallout Shelter by Dora Alpert. This song is actually... This song was supposed to be in Fallout 4, but at the last second, for unknown reasons to this day that we don't know, was actually cut. Every once in a while on the Fallout 4 Diamond City Radio, you can still hear Travis, the radio announcer, Saying something about Dora Alpert and the Fallout Shelter there. If not, if you haven't heard it yet, then uh, you might have to actually just check the in-game files and stuff like that. But yeah, what's a better song to do the title? A 1962 classic song about a teenager locking himself inside of a Fallout Shelter because he, because his girlfriend dumped him or something like that. But let's move on to the next one. And number two, we have I'll Get By by the Ink Spots. The Ink Spots have been heavily rooted inside the Fallout community since its beginning, the first game, almost 20 years ago. In almost every singular game, the main song has been a song by the Ink Spots. And rightly so, there's never been any apocalyptic band that could ever do anything better than the, than the Ink Spots themselves. So this one here is called I'll Get By, which is a song that's basically about... You know, that you'll get by as long as it's stuff like that. Well, it's a major World War II hit, but as well, it actually has, like, the same sort of stuff you'd find in the Fallout community. Hence, um, It's All Over But The Crying, or I Don't Want to Set The World On Fire. But that's all I have to say on this one, so on to the next piece. Number three, Blue Sky. Almost 100% not going to be by Jesse Crawford, but most likely by the Ella Fitzgerald version. Most likely because this one's an instrumental, but anyways, with the Ella Fitzgerald one, it's basically a perfect ir irony song that you'd be looking for. Like, it would be, so like, it's about blue skies, um, so it's like there'd be nothing but blue skies in the world, which would be the complete opposite, because, uh, you know, in the frickin' nuclear apocalypse and all that, there's nothing but radiation and fallout-filled skies and all that. I could very well see this song being played over the uh, either the radio or in the intro whatsoever, but definitely not by this version, not by this person either. Up next is Atomic Power by the Buchanan Brothers. This is actually pretty far off, and I don't actually get this one on here, but I'm putting this one in for the Atomic section. It's been, like, it's Fallout. It's about time that we have um, more Atomic Platters in this way, in the mix, which means more songs about the Atomic Bomb and all that. This could be a big hit as well, just like the Fallout Shelter one itself. And on to the, our last one. This is Worth Fighting For by Jimmy Dorsey. I could not think of a better song 
for the lore and stuff like that. This is worth fighting for. Just basically talking about that, no, I'm not going to stand for this stuff. I'm going to fight back. Typical Americanism right there. Americanism, is that a word? But yeah, in the Fallout world, there's so much stuff having to do with communists and all that. So fighting against them, that's most likely going to be part of this as well. As well as that Jimmy Dorsey was really big in New York, and everyone's thinking it's going to be in New York this time. So yeah, I just want to be safe with that. But yeah, that's about it. But yeah, that's about the list there. Now, knowing this is Bethesda, they're probably going to go for stuff that's even more obscure than this. I've tried to make an obscure list that's like still a popular song, but so still obscure. But then, again, this could be completely off. But I don't care what's going to be for the trailer as long as it's just the freaking music like they've always been doing. So who knows, my predictions may be right, may be completely wrong. Most likely the latter. Um... Almost definitely not the former at all. But we'll see. Uh, time will tell. I swear to God, if this is another freaking remaster or loot crate thing, I, no, I'm not even going to say that. But who knows? Maybe this, can't, maybe this might get into like another trailer for like later. Like this might maybe in a later trailer or something like that. As well, or maybe maybe any of these songs could get into the game, but that's about it. See you, Porter, signing off. See you guys later.